Biden. Inflation. It was this moment near the beginning of the debate that set off alarm bells for Democrats. What I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with. Uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. Biden didn't seem sharp with a raspy, soft voice and sometimes jumbled answers. Trump was able to go off unchecked, and Biden seemingly couldn't keep up. The panicky headlines from multiple outlets came quick. Even close Biden allies were stunned. This was not the debate performance that the Biden campaign team wanted or needed from this debate. Look, there, there is no two ways about it. That was not a good debate for Joe Biden. Multiple New York Times opinion pieces called on Biden to drop out. Republicans also piled on. I feel like this is a national security risk for our country because what the world saw was weakness. A more fiery Biden showed up at a rally in North Carolina Friday and didn't speak like a candidate who will be stepping aside. I don't deba debate as well as I used to, but I know what I do know. I know how to tell the truth. I know how to get things done. And I know like millions of Americans know, when you get knocked down, you get back up. Biden told reporters after the debate it wasn't so bad. And not all Democrats were ready to abandon ship. Pennsylvania Senator John Fetterman compared it to his own poor debate performance against Dr. Mehmet Oz when Fetterman was briefly written off. He went on to win the election and tweeted bluntly, chill the F out. It's well documented that Biden spent days practicing for the debate at Camp David. His team also helped craft the rules and agreed to the format of the debate. It further calls into question how all of that prep led to that performance last night. Reporting in Atlanta, I'm Matt Galkin.